It's also an opportunity to think about what we want the world to be like in another decade's time. At the start of this school term, our school has been thinking about community and generosity. Imagine if these two themes guided our actions and thoughts for the decade ahead. The 2020s could be the decade of community and generosity. Just imagine that, a whole decade of generous giving. Sometimes we feel that we should hold on tight to what we have. We want to keep things for ourselves. But selfishness only makes us all feel rubbish. Really rubbish. As we reflect on Christmas, we all know how good it is to receive something special. But it feels just as good, perhaps even better to give. In his second letter to the Corinthians, St Paul encourages us to be generous with what we have. He reassures us that God will provide us with what we need. St Paul says God loves the one who gives gladly. and Mother Teresa have said, live simply so others can simply live. Giving makes God glad and it makes us feel great. If we let go of greed and choose to give, there'll be enough for every single person in the world. you don't need, give them to people who do. And you have plenty, share with others. Let's make this the decade of giving. Do plenty in 2020. Are you up for the challenge? Give plenty in 2020. If ever I 